Yo, this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel, all right? And you guys saw the title to this video. We are about to rank all of the Batman through the years, all right? We're not gonna go all the way back to like 66. We're gonna do Adam West, uh, but we're not gonna go all the way back, you feel me? Uh, with the recent The Batman with Robert Pattinson coming out, like now's a pretty good time to go ahead and see where these guys rank especially in my list uh, and this will be kind of opinionated slash it's just right you feel me um so but before we get into this video you guys make sure you're hitting the like button all right make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and tapping that notification bell that way when i or we do a video just like this you all will get it first all right and also make sure you guys are checking out we trap music that's our sponsor and on all social media platforms and those links will be down in the description as always all right so let's go ahead and get into it i'm fireworks this is snoop is gonna snoop youtube channel and we back snoop is gonna snip snoop is gonna snip snoop is gonna snip it's not your bitch. all right you guys so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the last on the list, all right? And of course, I know a lot of people put him last on the list. Everybody says that Batman and Robin was a clown movie. Yada, yada, yada. One of my favorites, but I ain't crazy. Now, uh, out of all of the Batman, George Clooney would fall last on my list. Um, I think he still did a good job, especially from the character from ER that they brought over to Batman at the time. Um, I think that might be also another reason why I favored him personally, but he has to be last on this list, you guys. Um, I think the Batman movie that he was in was a good movie. A lot of people call it the franchise killer. Nah, to say it really killed the franchise is a reach. Uh, I just don't think that there's a lot of things that they had that they really, I don't think that they really knew what they really wanted to do to begin with. And then on top of that, they uh, also filmed this movie almost straight off of the end of uh, Batman Forever. Val Kilmer had another movie. George Clooney got cast at the role, of course, because he was uh, one of the better characters in ER at the time. So I got George Clooney last on the list, you guys, all right? So the next Batman up, I'm gonna go with Val Kilmer. Now it's the one before, and I know you guys have heard me say I like Clooney better but I think as far as the films go and as far as Batman in its context I think Val Kilmer uh, in, it, in the cow did a better job um, so we're gonna put Val Kilmer next I think uh, he had a dark weird esque style Tim Burton had a lot to do with the production side I forget who the director of this movie was uh, but you can tell if you watch that Batman Forever movie that Val Kilmer kind of fits the eeriness and the feel and the tone of the of the uh, movie. So for me, I got Val Kilmer at probably, let's see what this is. This is, uh, out of seven Batman, Val Kilmer's number six, all right? Um, and let's see, who we got next on the list? Uh, who am I gonna go with? Uh, five? Five, I'll go with Adam West, and this is my reason why. Uh, as, as iconic and uh, elite and uh, standalone as his side of the Batman catalog is, I think for his catalog and for the time and up and coming, uh, he kept Batman alive. Yes, it was more on the uh, comedy-esque, funny side, uh, but as far as a Batman is concerned, I think Adam West for his universe is really good. I think he would have uh, really been dope maybe at a point in time to maybe even have Adam West do a serious role. I think he could have played that uh, now that he's passed away, RIP. Uh, but on my list, he we have him at the number five spot, all right? Uh, let's see who I got next. Uh, I'll go Christian Bale, all right? As, as good as the Dark Knight trilogy was, uh, there's a lot of weird things that Christian Bale did for me, but I still think he played a good Batman. Um, he's the Batman that basically bought, brought Batman back to life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Batman took off from Batman and Robin. I guess that's why you guys call it the uh, franchise killer. Uh, but 
he picked up uh, after George Clooney, and it, this I think it was what 2005 when Batman Begins was. So um, he, th- I think he did a good job, and I definitely think he did a good job outside of the cow portraying Batman and Bruce Wayne. Like I think he did a good job playing both roles, um, and he might be one of the best we have at playing both roles. And just how it was depicted on screen, Christopher Nolan did a great job with the Bat uh, with the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, so I got Christian Bale as my number four. All right. So now you guys, we're into the top three. All right. This is top three Batman. All right. So drum roll. Uh, this was hard, y'all. I know who my number one is, but it's really hard to pick. I think I'm going to go with Batfleck as my number three. And a lot of people don't like Batman, uh, Batfleck. They don't like Ben Affleck as Batman. I think people have to understand that every time they do a Batman, they do it in a time that no one has done it before. Like when it was 89 Batman, it was such a dark, eerie tone. I think they did a really, really, really good job with the, uh, the, the 89 and Batman Return. I just love how Gotham looks. I love how everything feels. I feel like that is what Batman uh, is in its essence. And then you go to like uh, Batman Forever and the tone kind of switches up. It's more of its culture at the time, which is 90s. It's got that real 90s feel with the lights and uh, just how everything was portrayed. Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face. And then you had, of course, the iconic Jim Carrey playing the Riddler. And then you move on and you have... Uh, then you have kind of the same rendition of Batman in from forever with a different actor playing uh, Batman, which is George Clooney. And then you jump. Then you tell a different story. OK, League of Shadows. Uh, Batman getting his armor from a business partner that uh, that is in <clears throat> partnership or works for his company and things like that. Um, then you move into the Robert Pattinson. This is like year two Batman, which has never been told before. So every time they do a Batman, you know what I'm saying? And then you have Batfleck. He was the older version, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like uh, they never went over top of each other. Um, And I feel like that uh, with with Ben Affleck, it was a great older version of Batman. Uh, I loved how smart he was. I loved his vehicles. I loved his weapons. I loved how calm he was. He was always, he never showed like he was afraid. He never, like he took on in his dream or whatever that was, which is like, I guess maybe the post credit scene for uh, Justice League in that universe when he had the the, uh, fight in the truck. He just beat up like eight dudes and he almost made it out of that ganged up on him. I think that was just a good example of showing, you know, he's had years and years of fighting experience he knows what he's doing. Um, and it was just good to see on screen. I think Ben Affleck did a good job. He was super big and swole, older. I think it was a good job. Uh, and in context with him playing against Superman, I think it was perfect. I think a lot of people would have rather saw maybe Christian Bale's version against Superman. Mm, I don't know how that would have been depicted on screen with how Superman was shot. I think that bringing in a new Batman and kind of shooting him in the same sense as they shot Superman, played a lot uh, to each other on screen. So I got Ben Affleck as my number three, all right? So now we at the top two, all right? So number two, I'm going to go with Robert Pattinson, all right? This weekend, I went and seen Batman, and I'm telling you guys, that shit has not left my mind since I left that theater. I cannot wait to get back in theaters and see it again. I've seen bootleg versions of that on the internet and I don't wanna watch that trash quality. I'm trying to stay away from it. And I'm just being honest with you guys. I think Robert Pattinson really pulled it off, you guys. And I and I told people that he was gonna be a good uh, Batman, especially if they play off some of the better things about him as far as in movies. He has a good look to his face. There are a lot of times where he doesn't say anything and he can pull off an entire paragraph through facial expression. I think he played a lot with that in this Batman movie of just how he looked, his eyes, and especially how Matt Reeves wanted this particular Batman to look. Like I said in my spoiler review, so spoiler alert, uh, I think that it was a comic book style movie like taken from the comic book to live screen. Like there were shots, 
that I saw that I feel like someone would draw as shots or pictures in their comic trying to explain a story. And I feel like just how dark, gloomy, how good the Riddler was, everything was serious and everything made you set, made you not ask a question like, how did you do this? How did you do that? Batman in every sense of this movie was very realistic. And that's what I loved about the movie the most part is that I feel like that I could be Batman. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to, I can build a car, you know, I can't be rich, but at the same time, like he was realistic. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't far-fetched you know what i'm saying so i got robert pattinson as my number two batman right now i know a lot of you guys might kill me for that or kill me for this whole list but stick with me i love you guys too all right so <clears throat> of course of fucking course number one is gonna be michael keaton all right michael keaton I, there's so many words that i can explain this and go on for hours on hours all right but I'm gonna keep it short for you guys, okay? So, Michael Keaton is the Batman that I grew up on. He's the Batman that I wanted to be. He's the bat suit that I've always liked. He had the Batmobile that I've always liked. He had the bat wing that I always liked. His version played after the animated series was even dope. Everything about Michael Keaton playing Batman is fire, okay? He pulled off a lot of the things that Robert Pattinson does, but he has a lot more dialogue in his movie. The eeriness is kind of the same. The realisticness is still the same. You can't tell where Gotham is. I love that in the 89 and the Batman Returns. Everything is very realistic besides the villains. Uh, well, Joker was realistic, um, but the Penguin, not so much. Catwoman, I can, I can understand maybe a little bit, but uh, Tim Burton did a good job of depicting a, our very first version of a serious Batman on screen. I feel like the Robert Pattinson uh <clears throat> movie is basically a three hour batman 89 movie it's got a lot more detail a lot of people say oh my god there's too much talking there's too much this bro that tells me right there that they're so stuck on uh the theatrical batman that they really don't even know who batman is that's not even who batman is. robert pattinson's batman and 1989's batman and batfleck are our best versions of the comic book and Anybody who's a fanboy knows that those are the versions of Batman that feel most like Batman and as well, I'll add in Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises, okay? Those are the Batman or the Batmen that feel like the ones from the comics that we grew up on, you know what I'm saying? And with that being said, Pattinson being a more realistic Batman, uh, playing a good role, having the movie shot and the cinematography that it was, I think it was just really, really, really dope uh, how they pulled this off. So I got Michael Keaton as my number one, okay? I think that is the best Batman we've ever got. I can't wait to see him in The Flash. I can't wait to see him in Batgirl. I just can't wait. I'm probably gonna cry in theaters. I love Michael Keaton. I don't know why I'm being blessed to be able to see some of the things that I've been able to see, like Endgame, this Batman movie. I'm hopefully gonna make it to see Doctor Strange. I saw No Way Home. That was really good. Um, so I'm really hyped uh, to see how far that they go with the Robert Pattinson Batman. I've heard stories of like maybe a Mr. Freeze and Joker doing the Arkham Asylum TV show. That's the rated R spinoff of the Penguin um, and some other things like that. So we're going to see you guys and you all let me know how you feel about my list of all the Batman. All right. I know you guys are going to kill me in the comments, all right? But I wanna know how you feel. Let me know how you feel, all right? Let me know down in the comments, all right? And don't forget, we haven't left out Lego Batman, all right? Like I said in my last video, I got some other things that off YouTube that we, me and White Gove had to take care of. So uh, we'll be back very, very soon with Lego Batman. We couldn't forget. And uh, yeah, so make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up, leaving us a like. Make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and tapping that notification bell. That way, when I or we do a video just like this, you all will get it first, all right? So, again, make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Lego Batman is on the way, and don't forget we have Wolverine, all right? So, I'm Fireworks. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel, and we out. Snoopers gonna snip, snoopers gonna snip, snoopers gonna snip, it's not your bitch.